Who the hell is Steven Spielberg? You're kidding, right? Do I look like I'm kidding? Uh, the guy who made Jaws? <laughs> the most successful movie of all time? The movie we're making a sequel to here? Perhaps the biggest dividend to come out of making fan films happened in the life and career of director Patrick Reed Johnson, whose autobiographical 52577 comedically recounts his early days as an aspiring young filmmaker. By the time I was in high school, I had set fire to many of the buildings in my neighborhood. I'd blown up several cars, and all for the sake of movies. You know, I, nothing too destructive, but I've, I'd done a lot of um, collateral damage uh, in, in my world. Uh, not, not nothing that you would get in trouble for, per se. Where's your brother? <laughs> Mom! A lot of mothers might rifle through their son's room looking for, you know, the Playboy magazines and things like that. Uh, my mom would rifle through my bedroom looking for, like, the American cinematographer. One of you is in big trouble. Well, I thought, after seeing Jaws and, and waiting, you know, two, almost two years, that it was time for, you know, Jaws 2. Into Lake Michigan when we decided to do the shark attack scene, we thought, well, let's just do it in an insert tank. It's a swimming pool! You know, mom wasn't home, dad wasn't home, what the heck? We had our big foam rubber shark and we decided for the blood we would, you know, fill these Ziploc bags up with red dye. That stuff is nasty red, it's perfect. And it just looks, it's got the consistency of blood because it's a concentrate, right? So, you know, one bottle? I don't know, it only makes that much in the bag. We want a lot of blood, so we had 20 bottles. And we had, you know, mannequin arms and we had wetsuits and we had all kinds of you know, ropes of sausage and, and tripe from the grocery store and you have to burst the bag and 20 bottles worth of writ dye go into the water. Could you get Uber's torso? Cut to Christmas, you know, pink snow. I still don't get how you think we can get away with making a Jaws 2. I mean, at the end of Jaws 1, the shark's nothing but red mist and bone meat. It's, it's an homage, it's a love letter, it's a thank you note to George and Stephen and anyone who ever endeavored to say, you know, you, you, you're okay, you can come play, you, can, you might have, we'll, see, we'll watch you. <laughs> and, and, and later, of course, Stephen was chiefly responsible for getting my first feature film distributed when he saw it and enjoyed it, this film called Space Invaders, and, you know, really gave me a career. So it's kind of a big thank you.